Welcome everybody, I am joined today, live at Las Vegas, much better weather than yesterday, but I'm joined by Matt DiBenedetto, driver number 21, Wood Brothers Ford. How's it going today, man? Really good, yeah, it's uh, beautiful today, so that makes it even better. It really is, really is. Well, I wanna ask you a few questions about your new team this year, because you are with a new race team, you're with Ford. What's that transition been like? Has that been more difficult? Has that been pretty easy so far? It's only been a couple weeks. How's that transition been? Actually, really easy, surprisingly easy. So, uh, I mean, everyone that knows the, the Wood Brothers and the history of this team and the kind of people they are, I mean, they're the coolest, most laid back group of people, just old school racers. So it's actually, that kind of fits, you know, my background and upbringing. And so uh, actually meshing with them has been so fun and easy. And it's been probably one of the more laid back situations I've, I've been in, although we're at a you know top tier performance, For which sure. is yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Uh, how did this whole deal come together? I've heard different stories about. You know, did you go seek them out? Did they come to you? And you were you know a free agent at that time. How did the deal with Wood Brothers come together? Uh, they actually came to me after. Um, so it was all a sequence of events. I mm -hmm. found out I wasn't going to be able to return to my ride last year, the yeah. '95 car, um, and I had nothing and was like, man, all I can do is just keep on doing my jobs. And it was at a time where we were knocking out all these top five, top mm -hmm. 10 finishes, running great. Point, yeah. And really we're building that team up. And then I'm left like, uh -huh. man, what, what in the heck do I do? It came as a shock to the fans as well. Yeah, I, was, I mean, uh, I just had no idea what it was yeah. even gonna be possible. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, just head down, keep trying to do my job. It was a very emotional time for me and my wife yeah. and, and my family. Um, and then we went to Bristol and almost won the race. And, mm -hmm. and I didn't even know what to feel after that. Just very <laughs> conflicting emotions. And then um, not too long after that is when I got the call from uh, from the Wood Brothers to talk to them about that 21 car. And at the time, I was still confused, like, uh, but Paul's driving the car. Yeah. I had no idea he was even thinking of uh -huh. retiring, so and not, I don't think not anyone's nobody data. did. Yeah. Uh, so it was, a, it was an amazing sequence of events that I think uh, it was just all meant to be. Yeah, that's really cool. So what are the expectations like for this year? It's early in the season, but what kind of goals have, your, has, have the team set for themselves this year? Um, you know, I'm a... I'm not big on like chasing certain things. I'm, I'm kind of more uh, being the best we can possibly be together. I know there's a general answer, but being the best at what we can control. So I hope, I hope that we are the best we can be at everything that is in our control to be the best, make the most of what we have, make the most of our race cars, put ourselves in position to win those races and hope that it works out with the circumstances. Guess where, I mean, I want us to win. We've got a very iconic win, you know, for the Wood Brothers on the cusp. But I'm, proud to be driving this thing and uh, have the opportunity to try and get, which is their 100th win. Um, so it'd be great to get that and many more and hopefully, uh, you know, make the playoffs. That's you got to check a box at a time. It's always, yeah, it's always Make a goal the playoffs sure. and then hopefully go deep in the playoffs and you want to, everyone wants to make it all the way to the end. And I, uh, I know this team is more than capable. Definitely, yeah. Uh, so I want to touch on this as well. You've kind of hinted at it a little bit, a lot of ups and downs in your career. I, I want to ask, because I feel like you've rallied such an impressive, like just fan movement, I feel like, behind you just in the last couple of years. Like, you know, a few years ago, I feel like you're kind of under the radar. Not, not a lot of people are really talking about you, but nowadays, I mean, you're front page news half the time, I feel like. So what's that journey been like? It's been very fast, I feel like. It has, it's been a whirlwind. Uh, it's been crazy because I was driving for smaller teams mm -hmm. and just trying to, you know, trying to climb up through the ranks. And my goal has always been to win in the Cup Series. Yeah. That's been my lifelong dream and journey. Um, and I was willing to sacrifice everything to, to try and do it. And then, uh, yeah, when you get those opportunities to keep climbing the ladder and then get, you know, into those rides like last year to perform at a higher level and, can, you know, we were able to compete for some of those wins when we were building that team up and things that helps. Uh, and I just share my story with the fans. Yeah. I just try and be me. Any, like, uh. any tweet or any stuff that comes from me comes directly from me and my phone. That's just kind of how I like yeah. to keep things authentic. Um, and, yeah, it was, it was just crazy how people kind of embraced the the story and the journey i think they felt me and my family's passion and my wife and uh, and what we've done to get here and it's been really neat to gain all that following yeah. that's really awesome so i want to leave with one final question kind of off topic but you tested the indianapolis road course this off season and i know a lot of talks about schedule changes in the future what do you think of that track and do you think you could ever see are you the kind of guy that would like to see the cup series race on the indy road course or how would you feel about that possibility oh 100 percent i really <laughs> i i Already, I'm lobbying pretty hard for it because right. uh, it's a really cool road course and it's mm -hmm. neat because it's at Indianapolis Motor mm -hmm. Speedway, which is an amazing place. And then, uh, but it's also such a good quality road course. I mean, it's F1 certified. Any car uh, yeah, races yeah. there. I mean, it's a gr actually a great layout with really great passing zones and all that. So, um, and man, 
Well, the stock cars put on great races at road courses. They do, it's yeah. so fun bouncing a, a big old heavy stock car off uh -huh. of curbs and running into each <laughs> other, and it's just like uh, almost unnatural, so it makes it really fun. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's awesome. Well, you've, now you've got me really excited for this summer when the Xfinity Series race is there, but well, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today. Cup Series is racing later. Good luck today, man. Good luck with the rest of your season. Yeah, thank you.